this is now it. Last time with the Lambo looking like this in the garage. And when we bring it back in the next video, we all painted and we're gonna be putting this back together, which is crazy to think already. What's up guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video, you join me on part 12, rebuilding my Lamborghini Gallardo. Not only is this part 12, this is the final video for the rebuild series. I picked up the car yesterday from the paint shop. It looks phenomenal. It was in paint for four weeks, so it was a little bit of a wait, obviously, but they did such a good job. The car is so perfect. I mean, it is incredible to see. Last night I went ahead and got a few of the little things squared away, got the door handles reinstalled, the trim around the windows, the trim on the lower portion of the window, whole door panel, installed the mirror as well, and then uh, the grill, a few little things here and there. So today's video, we are going to wrap up all the big things, get this car done, pull it outside, and get it out, and actually experience the Lamborghini Gallardo 100% completely fixed. What a journey this has been, so grateful that we got the last video. I have envisioned this video for four months and now we are here. So let's just take one quick look at the gorgeous paint job. Obviously, if you haven't seen, there's 11 previous videos of me rebuilding this after the crash. So go back and check it out. But look at this paint quality. It looks phenomenal. And remember this piece right here, I cut off after it was damaged, had a re-welded and look at this. The body line is so perfect how they even got that like that. That is incredible door handles and everything. And check that out. I mean, that is, I mean, I'm so blown away. I'm honestly speechless with how good of a paint job they did. It is now time to get this thing in perfect shape back together. The final rebuild video is here. Let's get to it. Lots of progress has been made. Got that new side skirt on, the whole front end is all back to normal. The crazy thing with this whole project, 99% of my ownership with this car has been rebuilding it. You know, day one, we drove it 11 hours home. Day two, filmed the video with it, didn't really drive it most of the week. And then Friday, went to the track and that was it. So for me, I have seen this car, 99% of my ownership in pieces as a project. So to see it already looking like this is so surreal to me, it's a completely new experience. So once I finish it, it's like gonna be day four for me basically owning this car. So a four month gap in between basically, but looking really good, lining up great. The color is amazing. The paint match is phenomenal. Keep in mind, this hood is a 10 year old painted panel versus a brand new and the color matches perfectly. Like you literally can't even tell anything. Same with the bumper that is 10 years old versus brand new and the color is perfect. So it is just looking so, so good. Lining up really nicely as you can tell. with the bumper all built and put together. It looks really good in the white, obviously, much better than the black one with all the little chips and marks all over it, but that's looking pretty sweet. The last little goodie that I'm adding to the Gallardo is new exhaust tips. So here are the factory ones. They're chrome, got a little dented on the backside, but honestly, they still fit fine. 
but not really my favorite looking tips. I already got a super legera wing, so I got a set of super legera exhaust tips. I found these on eBay from Japan, so this is from a Japanese car, but all the way across the world, and now we are gonna have sick exhaust tips to match the super legera wing. And these things are way bigger than the factory ones. Obviously these are factory, but they're gonna look way better. They stick out a little bit farther, similar diameter, but then we got that black coating. So that is definitely gonna liven up the rear end just to make it look that much better. That bumper already looks so good with those exhaust tips. So we gotta, of course, line it up better, get it all wrapped up, but those tips were definitely the right decision. Look at that. That is looking super cool. Coming down home stretch, this is the last body part to go on the car. This is the rear grille. It did have that power coated, so it's got a nice fresh satin black to it. After this, we got a license plate, and I have successfully rebuilt my Lamborghini. So, lining this up, I love the rear grille on these LPs. And then we can slowly get all the little bolts in. Always a challenge is to see your own car driving. Oh my gosh. That looks so, so sick. So four months later, here we are. You guys remember all these destroyed Lambo parts and look at the final product, completely done. I am, I'm kind of lost for words, I'm kind of speechless. It's kind of a crazy new experience now with this car. It's like day four for me, like I mentioned. But one last look at what this car used to look like. That is insane. All the destruction that was 
this car. That is just so wild to remember just a couple months ago, the car looked like that. There's what's left of the rear end. And then look at that brand new, beautiful. This was a crazy project for sure. Never in a million years did I think I'd be rebuilding a Lamborghini. Aside from the cost and the unfortunate situation, it was kind of fun actually. Like I don't hate rebuilding a supercar. Certainly if I ever do it again, hopefully it is by choice and not by default. But nonetheless, the car came out amazing. Like, oh man, <laughs> it is a huge weight off my shoulders having this car done. Crazy, crazy project. But I mean, it just looks so good. It literally looks amazing. Everything I could have expected it to look like. The quality, fit and finish and everything came out just so gorgeous. Man, what a sick car. I love the look of it. Everything came out good. Look at that fender from that fender. That is crazy. My old mirror is completely gone. This is the carbon one, had it painted. But new door versus original door. The old side skirt. New one. And then the biggest part. That whole rear quarter, I had to cut off the car. And that is it. All right, well, that was good timing. But you know what? We are done with the wrecked parts of this car. So, yeah, when I make the video on how much I spent, you'll know how much money that is sitting on the ground. But we are done with broken Lamborghini parts as it tries to take me out one last time. So with all that said, I have completely finished the car. It's all done. Now I can just enjoy driving it. I bought it to just drive and enjoy it. And it's been a crazy journey rebuilding it. I certainly learned a lot about how this car is put together and it's been put together with all OEM parts and honestly minimal body work given I just replaced all these destroyed parts. So crazy, crazy adventure. And uh, I'm really excited now to just rack up the miles, be behind the wheel. So let's take one final look at the destroyed parts, which now I need to figure out what I want to do with all of these. Do I just throw them out? It kind of pains me to throw these out given how much money I spent on the replacements. But that is a worthwhile sight. Such a beautiful car. Like I said, my childhood dream car. And that is just insane. Four months. Got this thing looking crazy good from all that. I think that's going to wrap it up car's looking good with all the white color a super leger rear end now on the car looking amazing wow so i will make a full cost video coming shortly but uh yeah all right i think that is then it not much else to say it's time for me to go drive this put some more miles behind the wheel of the lambo but thank you all so much for your support your awesome words and all the comments through the past 11 rebuild videos and uh, now we can get onto some normal videos and just enjoy driving the car. If you enjoyed today's video and this entire rebuild series, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more content to come with the Lambo, enjoying it and going on trips with it and stuff like that. But anyways, one last look, no more destroyed Lambo. She's completely done. I will see you all in the next video.